Well, hello there. We are live. Hi. Hi. No, we're not. Stop lying. Yes, here something. Uh, I, the play stairway to heaven. This uh, this setup that I've got right now because I have to use one monitor for the captures now for the video is yeah. maddening because I have everything, all the information and everything on one monitor because my my other monitor is roll twenty, yep. and then the the other one is the Zoom call. Zoom, you are horrible people for doing this. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you know, this is I not mean, a security as, feature. As 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 a former OPSEC employee, I understand their reasoning. As you know, as someone who relies on Twitch to do certain things, yes, it can be frustrating. Oh, it's rather frustrating. I don't I, I, like change. I, I will give I will give their team like no more than thirty days to fix their shizzle. Groudon, Raven, thank you for the uh, resubs. I don't know why the alerts aren't popping up. Uh, you broke it. Fox. Fox, are you log? Uh, did you log into the? I, I did uh, nothing. Did you log into the dashboard? I I haven't touched anything in like two weeks. Oh, so that's probably why the dashboard isn't open. Because you now have to log into Streamlabs dashboard in order for the pop-ups to work. Boo. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's a proper disappointed look there, Fox. Yeah. Can you do that from like a lap from like a from a tablet or some shit? I don't know. Or a smartphone, just be like, you know, poop. All I know is you have to be logged in for it to work. Galaxy Eyes, how you doing? I was using Zoom today. <laughs> it I Zoom is great, but their new their new quote unquote security feature isn't because I can't do camera I can't do camera captures now because setting it up as a window capture will no longer work it makes it just white so I have to do a display capture meaning one monitor is now dedicated to a zoom call yep welcome to yep. my hell which just means I need a fourth a fourth fifth and sixth monitor you just need you just need one of those setups I used that I used to do um, for uh, the financial district where you have like you know the spider the spider um, arms the mm -hmm. spi the spider monitor holder that yep. just has like either four or six monitors on it. Yep, I uh, have one of those. My desk nice. my desk came with two of those, so it can it can hold up to I believe eight monitors. Shapeless. <laughs> I approve. All right, as as Rogan starts like hacking China. Okay, so that didn't do anything, but Fox, thank you for the resub. It's weird. Very strange. Anyway, how have you guys been? I haven't seen you for... Well, I've seen... I saw... No, I didn't even see you guys yesterday. Nope. So I haven't seen any of you for like two weeks. Nope. Feels weird, man. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know how to feel... Well, it gave me, it gave us time to, I guess, recuperate, you know, Fox was having surgery and everything like that. Um, we did some behind the scenes work. I, well, I did some behind the scenes work with a couple people for their, uh, for their characters and what's going to happen, uh, leave Something tonight. Done. Um, and it allowed me to pretty much plan out the branching pathway that now lies before the group because <laughs> you've got three big things now on your shit list that definitely need to be taken care of i didn't do it and then like 82 side quests that still need to be taken care of because that's why oh. i never finished games because i'm doing all the damn side quests we we really need to work together and make a single like to-do list for this campaign because we got a lot of shit to do I had a to-do list and we did a pretty damn good job completing it but then we added more and then I didn't update it. I just shoot things. That's all I do. That's you fair. shoot all the things. You add to our I, list. I do. I do <laughs> want to apologize. Oh god. Okay, you're right. Oh god. Oh god. What happened? Shadow Fox is under like uh... witness protection. Oh, there we Whoa. go. <laughs> he has a voice <laughs> modulator. Oh no, it's no worse. Your, your camera did not want to cooperate right then and there. Interesting. <laughs> the autofocus no, I... was like, nope, I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> 
Now, I, I, I do want to apologize to Raven. It was an entirely unintentional derailment from his storyline. I just thought we'd go get that sword consecrated real quick. Well, you see, back. I was like, I was like, hey, you know what? This seems like a reasonable thing. We'll just go get this. It'll make dealing with the everything else easier and suddenly invasion. That's what I thought. And then I was like, oh. We would have been fine. Well, we have a tickle. To be fair, that whole that whole invasion angle with like the uh, citadel being destroyed and the attack on Felloc was going to happen with you guys there or not. Yeah, that's okay. what I was just going to say. Well, it, 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 it's a derailment, but I'm kind of glad so yeah, we were so there. So either went there and saw it, oh, we came back and shit was effed. Yeah, and it's like, oh, why yeah. is everything a, just a smoldering pile of nothing? Yeah, I would cry. <laughs> I have thought of new things for when I DM. Okay. The living uh, world? Making people <laughs> cry? Uh, yeah, I'm, well, I'm, destroying hopes and dreams, despair. Oh, well, sorry. I'll be doing that on Saturday. I'm, uh, I'm, I, the, I, God, I haven't DM'd in like, fuck, what is it, like almost a year and a half? Yeah, I'm ago. doing a one shot on Saturday for Pathfinder 2 for some people I know on Discord just to get my chops back in alignment for doing that for when I do the PF2 campaign here. It's been 87 years. It hasn't been that long. <laughs> hey, you get that movie out of here. That shit made me cry. <gasps> me too. Screw Leonardo DiCaprio. That shit actually happened. But you know what Why was going to happen in the end? The boat was going to sink. Well, yeah. Hey, there's but enough it was room still on that. Sad. that, that that's like when pit people go went and saw Passion of the Christ and they were shocked to see what happened to Jesus. It's like <laughs> it's guys, guys. Spoiler alert: the Titanic sinks. <laughs> what? No, it was just. It was just. Spoiler like, alert! Sure? She oh, lets go. You saw spoiler me. alert! Also, she lets go. This also, elderly couple was snuggling alert. each other in bed. Was the water rose? A mom was cuddling her children while they were. Darth Vader is Luke's dad. So, uh, Rosebud is a, is a sled. It was early all along, guys. Whoa! I'm afraid Jesus. He doesn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What? Uh, but he's my neighbor. Oh, well, I'm I'm right. driving the bus to hell. Who's coming? <laughs> uh, already there, ooh, buddy. I just want to show there. this off, <laughs> just because it's it's so pretty. I treated myself to a little. I know. I, I saw the pic I, I saw the pictures on the channel. So it could be Black with me mouth. always for those D and D emergencies. So all right. So so the one question I have now that I act because now that I can actually see it. So so it has the carabiner, so you can put it on stuff. How mm -hmm. strong are the magnets holding that thing closed? It's pretty strong. Okay, because I'm like it doesn't come with the key chain. They are rare earth magnets. They're about uh, eighth of an inch diameter. Yeah, it's so pretty powerful. They're they're really strong, but they don't have much range because of how small they are. Yeah. So once you get the once you get the lid almost in place, that's when it starts pulling. But the thing is, you can choose. It doesn't come with the keychain. I already had this. You can, however, add. It's for free the the loop for it so you can make it a keychain or not um but this actual piece right here doesn't come with it but i mean that stuff's like stupid oh, cheap okay. so it doesn't matter but it does come with it's the like loop if you choose the loop option and 25 free. cents at michael's yeah it's like stupid cheap so but again i already had one so i wasn't worried about it and yeah i love it Every thorn so, has a rose. Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay. Hey, um, those, those singing my songs. So, I haven't even, I haven't even started anything yet. <laughs> the last time we were together and we left off, everybody was recuperating from the assault on Felloc. Um, Ash, to have a walk that's about. your name. <laughs> Ash That's... was devastated being the only one who remembered anything about Sahara. Everybody else, including Turok, thought she was uh, going a bit uh, cuckoo, not really knowing what she was talking about. Uh, conversations were had between Zale and Yith about her future and their future and the future of Dagger Tree. There was... An incident where Alexander killed one of the simulacrum clones of Yith after it went to 
the bath the bathhouse and gave him a very stern talking to about Molly, which then in turn led into Zale and Alexander getting into it. And then almost a honor duel taking place in the courtyard. When the beans were spilt that Zale was thinking of leaving. And as we pick up today, it's the next day. After all of this has gone down, everybody, you know, has clearer heads. Everyone has retired to their rooms, gotten a decent rest, and are slowly rising for the day's activities as... There, again, are light knocks on your door just to let you know what time it is. I got up stupid crazy early to knock on Caldross's door. Okay. Uh, Caldross, are you up yet? I didn't do it. You... Why, did you do something? It tickles the fence. No, I just said I didn't. <laughs> Oh. Well, are, are you dressed or asleep? You you sound awake. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, um, one second, and I'll, I'll put on decent clothes. All right. Are you ready? Uh, ready, yeah. For what? To talk to my father. You were going to talk to him because he was busy? Oh, yeah. I was going to go grab Tiris too. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that, that might be good. Um, okay. Also, Rose actually saw this, so I will maybe grab she too. should be there too. Okay, I'll be back. I'll just make my way to whoever's room is first, Tiris or Rose's, and just start getting them up. Okay. Rose, are you sleeping in uh, Ash's closet again, or are you actually in your designated quarters? Uh, the green guy is in there, and so her kid, so... It's like... No, he went to nope, the couch. Nope. He, yeah, he's technical. Oh, okay, he... well, it's her kids. I don't know. It's like, I, Rose has... Yeah, my kids would be in there. <laughs> you know what? I, you know, I don't know. Like, would... I... You know what? Creeper. Yeah. Uh, I was, Rose is sleep in the closet again. Yeah, she would like she would sneak into the closet. You know, she's she's interested. She's she's interested in the kids, and not in a creepy way. But the 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 kids have well, because you always have to preface you know that statement these days, because everyone presumes, you know, <laughs> you know, in you a creepy way. Sure, you know, you you can't read a book in a park anymore because you know, forget about it. The cops get called on you. It's like, what are you doing? I'm reading the book. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Can I no one that? reads anymore. <laughs> <clears throat> See, your your first mistake was that you got a paper book. You should have been on a tablet. <laughs> okay, so I probably would have opened up my closet first, assuming she's in there. <laughs> past experiences. Okay. Rose, are you awake? Uh, she looks up and stretches. Like, it's... <laughs> It's like a slumber party in your closet. <laughs> yep. Do you it's have your like, displacer kitty in there too? No, the displacer kitty, well, her displacer kitty is in the closet with me. Mine is Probably. at the fort. But you know, she you know, she yawns and she's like, oh, is it morning already? Uh, it is. It's just really early. Uh, my father is free for us to talk to him about what you witnessed earlier so um i will go ahead and grab the boys if you don't mind getting up and getting ready so we can talk to my father and maybe come up with a plan or something um okay i mean are we going to find out for sure if they're going to attack the lock i mean we don't know they're just random well undead. i mean if there's a bunch of weird undead things going into a town that is deserted that was previously owned by my grandfather then i think we should probably assume something's going on 
I guess, I mean, it just seems a bit odd. But, um, fine, let me, let me go get dressed. Okay, I'll see you out there in just a moment. You know, and, you know, she, I don't want to say, she doesn't side at the kids. She is, children are weird as far as she's concerned. Yes, she was one. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no children are weird i'll agree with that don't shame my <laughs> twins <laughs> she's not trying to shame your twins she's she's trying to she she's trying to it's not this is the hard part because rose is not uncaring monster but she doesn't understand this maternal love i mean she understands that her mother loves her but she's not a mother so she doesn't understand you know this this switch that was flicked you know, mm-hmm. in uh, in Ashton's heart and mind over these, you know, these two rugrats. So she's 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 very interested in, you know, why, you know, children in particular have such a hold. Um, but I, I mean, again, you know, Rose was raised, you know, in a gang. So <laughs> it's like, things are a bit weird from her perspective. It's like, you know, oh, they're they have like milk and cookies and read bedtime stories. You know, when she was a kid, you know, she was learning how to hide in shadows and slick coin, coin purses and like, you know, you know, where where every major artery in the body was for slicing. So it's like, there's this dichotomy here that she doesn't quite understand. Um, but you know, she like she she um she will as she's leaving, she will throw some candy at the kids. Just like in their faces, just well, I mean, not like at their faces, but I mean, you know, she'll throw them like center mass. You know, she's like, you know, catch. You know, kids like candy, right? Yeah, but uh, both of the, both of the boys are just sprawled out on the bed. They're still asleep. <laughs> they're also babies. <laughs> yeah, they're still babies too. They can't eat candy. <laughs> they're like one, Shit, one and a half. Bad. She's like, eh, it's sugar. Kids like sugar. Have we been gone that long? Huh? Yeah. Fuck. Okay. You know, she's like kids like sugar, you know. So I mean, you know, she she she's learning how she's learning how to be a good aunt, you know. Give her give her some time. And she heads to her room to change. Your kid have some candy. (laughs) (laughs) Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. candy. Ooh, piece of candy. (laughs) So that's what she does. They come back and they're just sucking on the wrapper. And uh, she takes she takes the kitty with her. Okay. Then I contact Cal Dross and Pierce. <laughs> Since she technically would have been the first. Alrighty. Sirius, are you up? You're muted. That means he's still sleeping. <laughs> still sleeping, apparently. <laughs> what? Do you want to talk to my father? of your concerns with the undead things and banshee stuff right um he's not busy now you you don't have to i'm just saying you can go back to sleep give 10 minutes okay yeah all right and you hear what sounds like someone falling promptly out of bed. Damn. All right. Rose is bad. Now I'll go downstairs and I'll just pour me a drink and wait. <laughs> Where do you go to pour yourself a drink? Uh, in the kitchen. Yeah, you see, you see Zale in there, and she's standing at the counter, like half asleep, with uh, a big mug of something hot and steaming, uh, but she's not actually drinking it. She's just trying to keep herself awake. Good morning. Is it morning already? Yeah. And you're awake. Yes. It's like Good morning. 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the morning and you're awake. <sighs> Time for bed. Yeah. Have you been up all night? I have. What are you doing? Why are you well, up so early? I, I usually get up early. Why? Because I'm 
used to my family getting up early and my husband gets up really early, so I just get up why, early. Why would anybody do that? Because I stay up most of the time at night. I don't I don't know. I don't really have an excuse. I just it's just how I grew up. It's weird. A lot of this is weird. But good morning. Yeah, good good morning. You are you okay? I'm fine. You want to talk about it? Cuz this is weird. Uh, we we can talk later. You look busy. Sort of. Uh, we are going to talk to my father on what's going on to the west of us. There's a place that's dangerously close that has some undead gathering in a town that my grandfather used to own. So, red right. flag. That whole thing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be part of it if you don't want to, but information slash plan maybe would be good, but since I didn't witness it, uh, Rose, Tiris, and uh, Kaldros might be the ones that need to be there primarily. I think I'll, I'll just stay here. Um, maybe come find me when you're done. Do you want me to get you some food? That would be lovely. I have time. And I'll go rummage through the fridge and try to find some meats. And as you're uh you're rummaging through uh Vincent not Vincent but Xavier oh uh, yeah granddad like the fuck no I'm sorry <laughs> Xavier he's just at the table and he's morning. like hello I want to play a game oh shit I made cinnamon rolls <laughs> oh god there grandpapa no, but Xavier wanders into the uh wanders into the kitchen oh, okay I see we have more than the usual up this early. Oh, Zale, I meant to tell you, uh, Yith, uh, is here. With is it? someone else, I don't know. He said that you would know what that meant. Yeah. yeah I, 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 I did not question him. It is honest. I should honestly not be up right now, but... I cannot. That's what I was saying. Sorry, Father. No, no. Daytime was, people. I was told something needed my attention and it couldn't wait, so mm. I decided to wake up with the rest of the living. Did you take a nap at least? No, no. Oh. It was a long night for me. You should have rest, Father. I'm not going to die of lack of sleep, Ashley. Just, we have a rough day. Uh, well, gather your friends when they're ready. We'll meet in the common room. Allow okay. them access to whatever they wish to drink or eat or anything. It is early for them. Want me to get you a drink? Oh, no. No, I am. I'm okay. I just heard your voice in here and wanted to make sure you knew where I was at. Okay. But uh, I, I will meet all of you in the common room. I'll be there shortly, Father. present the meat to <laughs> Zale. Do you want me to? I can heat it up for you so it no, feels no, more warm. No, I don't need it warm. Okay. Thank you. Remember who you're talking to. Just say, you know, tastes like a fresh kill, you know, whatever. <laughs> and, and she proceeds Not to frozen. just stand there, <laughs> obviously tired, a little wobbly, and just chew on the meat and drink her beverage. Just pat you on your back. Well, like I said, if you want to join us, I'm going to go meet my father in there. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a, a good discussion, but I'm afraid my mind is just not in it right now. That's okay. And come but, all over the place too, but no, I, I get it. Again, come, come find me when you're finished. There are a few things that I need to talk about. Okay, that's all right. 
And on the marble, I will uh, contact Tiris, Rose, and Caldross and inform them that, to meet in the common room when they're ready. And I'll sit there with my father and just kind of hang out until everyone else comes down. All right. So uh, the only person that was left to sleep in was Tickles? Yeah. All right. So Tickles gets a, uh, gets a full night's rest. <laughs> oh, I am. I'm pissed at everyone. So she's going to bed. And she ain't talking to no one. She went to sleep, Angie. Yep, she went to sleep, Angie. Anyone knocks on our door, she's shooting at the door. All right. Too Four bad ghouls. for the ghoul servants. It's okay. She's gonna shoot a bullet in them. And they'll be fine. <laughs> it's gonna like walk. You're gonna walk down, and there's just like a couple uh, bullet hole riddled uh, ghouls walking about. And they're just like, hey. Mm. <laughs> Okay, so everybody gathers down into the common room. Uh, Xavier, when you come down, is already there, sit sitting at the uh, the head of a head of the table as a couple of the uh, servant ghouls begin to lay out plates for everyone. Um, Yith is already sitting there on his right with a uh, with a cloaked figure next to him. Kind of like sticking close to him at the moment, whispering to him, but not really making any form of communication or uh, any attempts to uh, give notice to anyone else in the room. Quick question about the the hooded figure. Mm -hmm. uh, so, are they like are they just hiding their face under the shadow of the hood? No, they're completely covered. It's it's like it, they've got like a full like white cloak around them, and they're it, it's uh it's like pulled up over their face. Oh, okay. So so their face isn't isn't their face. No, their, their face, face isn't is shadowed. Covered, their is face covered is covered. The yes. Yes. Okay. Like you could maybe see like the bottom part of of their uh, of their jaw, but it's they're like hiding as much of their facial features as they can at the moment. So when when Rose, at all. Rose, when Rose comes in, she like sees you know the hooded person. She's like, mm. you know, I mean, in her mind, it's like you know someone new. But you know, I mean, if someone's new, if someone snuck into the house and is sitting at the table with Xavier and doesn't have like you know his hand around their throat, obviously he's not you know an enemy. So <laughs> she's just like, no, she just, she uh, just sits down. She uh, she pours herself some tea, and um, and she looks over at Xavier and she goes, "What is the condition of my father?" Improving, thankfully. Um, we were able to get him through the worst parts. He's sturdier than he looks. I'll give him that. Um, you are aware of the loss of his arm, but we are. I have a Matilda working on a placement for him. Hopefully I will hear back soon from her as to what she can do to help him. Thank you. When can I see him? You can see him anytime you wish, dear. Just right now he is more than likely asleep. We've been... We've been giving him a bit of a sedative tea just to help him sleep through the pain. Oh god, the sleepy tea. Um, That's the good shit. <laughs> sleepy time tea. Oh yeah, nothing wakes you. If you are on sleepy time tea, nothing wakes you up. Um, Straight up knockout. Yeah, so she just, you know, sits into the chair, crosses her legs, and she's just like, you know, waiting for, you know, everyone else to gather so she can, you know, basically repeat, you know, her story about, you know, hey, you got, like, scary undead in your backyard, bro. <laughs> That's, just like that. shit. That's just George. It's okay. He's friendly. <laughs> so do the rest of you, uh, 
make your way down to the common room or oh yeah all right indeed indubitably indeed so as you as you all come in and take your seats xavier kind of looks over to ash she said okay so run me through what happened last night Um, well, I decided to take a stroll in the forest, so I went out the west gate, the secret tunnel, um, collected some materials from some of those undead minotaur, um, decided to, you know, walk around and commune, and I heard some wailing, it seemed suspicious, and... I heard some rather unusual sounds. Um, it seemed like it was a large group. I didn't know if they were friend or foe, so uh, I hid in such a way where they wouldn't see me. Uh, and when they came into view, apparently uh, there was some abomination of an undead giant with multiple heads dragging a bloodied bag um, followed by several other undead giants and um, a small spattering of bench. That um, is unlikely for that part of the kingdom. Normally, the two headed giant is wandering around the wastelands near Dashir. And you say others were following him, along with Banshee. Ah, uh, yes. Thankfully, um, thankfully they did not take too long to shamble past where I was hiding. There were no others with them. Uh, and those are the only ones I saw, and um, I wasn't waiting around to see if more were coming. I wonder. It may be paranoia, but my only thought turns to my father's activities. Yes, and uh, Rose, which direction were they heading? Um, well, they were heading south from where I was, which I thought was weird because they would be heading, you know, um, towards basically uninhabited territory, but apparently um, where the secret tunnel exits is rather far away to the west, uh, so they're heading towards um, uh, the town that's there, well, the shell of a town that's there. Ilmver. Mm -hmm. And from what I understand, that has been a burial ground for heroes of a war past? Yes. Bits of a um, necropolis was mm -hmm. built for them. I'm underneath. sure you can see where I might be going with that. Oh, my my mind went right to it when Rose stated where she was at. There was another strange thing, and it was uh, explained away by the mountain range, but just in case. We thought it was weird because Tears here heard the Banshee Whale from inside the city. That isn't unheard of. The sound may more than likely resonated off of the uh, the glaciers just northeast or northwest of us. Very interesting. It's a uh, concerning that a banshee whale might be able to reach that far as it may I, I don't I don't know I don't know the strength of their whale over that kind of distance when it's resonating off something like that but it does seem like a potential danger if you can hear it from that far away maybe it can affect you from that far away Thankfully, from everything we know about the Banshees, their whales, even if they, even if they're echoed off of things like the glaciers, their power only seems to be within their normal range. 
what you what you heard was merely the sound carrying. At least that's something. Still unsettling where they're gathering. And that they're there. Yes. Which means we are going to have to look into it. We you cannot think he's there? I don't know if he is there or if those who follow them or follow him are there. This can just be a random occurrence and the giant has found itself a new home. But given recent events, my thoughts turn to more of a paranoid one. And he is in the process of raising that necropolis. Right. Well, do you not have access to a magician who can scry this town and see if whether or not we suspect is true or not? No, because we do not have anything from that town to scry. Elmvern was left to the ages after the war. It was it was a dedicated m- memorial to those who had passed. Nobody has lived there for hundreds of years. Were there by any chance any protections placed to prevent the raising of the dead? I, I feel he may be able to overcome them no matter what, but it might give us some time. There were no wards placed. It wasn't really thought of at that point in time. There were traps you traps set to deter thieves, but that is about it. Well, that and scare him away. That and a pack of our finest made gargoyles. I I seriously doubt that that would hinder him for long, though. Considering he was able to destroy the entire temple. If it were to hinder him at all, I mean, they, he was the one who created said gargoyles. They may oh, so still, they might even be on his side. They may still view him as their master. There's some um, possibility. Well, that's unfortunate. How many gargoyles were there in this in the... Uh, if I r- remember correctly, there are 15 that patrol the city. <sighs> that's going to be rather annoying. I still think we should check it out just in case. If it's like a new base of operations or something. Would be nice if we didn't have to go there physically to check it out, but that sounds like that might be the case. Well, if we take the tunnel, it will be at least a much shorter journey. I can maybe snag something from there so we can teleport and scry. What was that? I do not know. Sounded like somebody was taking a hit off a uh, a vape or something. Was it? <laughs> Right not against me. the mic. ASMR right there, yeah. <laughs> uh, not me, it's like... I don't know the sound, yeah. Uh, I mean, do you want me to go scout it out? Certainly not alone. Would be better if you were thinking of going to take your friends with you. Okay can do that or i can send a detachment of our ghouls i mean that they would see more undead and not see them as a threat maybe well would we lose them to your grandfather's influence i doubt that as they are bound to me would he be able to identify them as not bound to him? I do not know the extent of his power. Well, I mean, when when you've come across ghouls that weren't bound to you, did you were you able to realize it? Only when I was in the lands of another another vampire lord. It was assumed they were just the help. 
and they were not wearing my colors. I think we should just maybe take a small group. I don't know if they'll be able to return or not. You wouldn't happen to have any uh, any people in your service that are skilled at espionage and being particularly unseen? Well, I have Lias and I have Mildred. Me and Lias could go. Uh, like, like, Rose lightly humps into her coffee <laughs> as she sips it when it was asked if they have someone that's particularly good at being stealthy. She doesn't say anything, but she just like, you know, there's an audible, you know, sigh. Rose, would you like to go? I thought it was going anyway. I just don't think all of us should go. Kind of a getting get out kind of situation. Well, even even from where the tunnel leads, it is about a three days journey. Through a forest, as she takes another sip of her coffee. Through the forest, yes. I mean, we could try. Just want to see what's going on. We'll take a piece of that area, or at least close to it. it. Again, if you were thinking of going, I would be more comfortable comfortable if all of you went because there's no telling what the forest is going to hold if this is your grandfather's doing you can be sure that he's set he's dispatched some of his followers there as well well to mention ash your grandfather does actually seem to be gunning for you specifically me and my father Well, remember, when I was at the temple, he asked for you by name. Yeah. Well, I'm sure he can see through it, but I always have to sky self just in case. Yes, I... Well, he's a vampire. He could probably smell that. me. Maybe. I don't know. He's also a lich vampire, so I don't know what he's capable of. He's just like uber undead now. All right, we can go. I mean, well, it's early enough. We could leave in the next hour or something, walk through that tunnel to at least pop us out the other end and then make our journey down. The sooner the better. It's, if you are planning on leaving, that would be wise. I will, I will see about getting preparations made for you, for your travel. I mean, I still have, I only have one potion of necrotic damage, but I might want to save that for later. Save that for the living. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, necrotic damage resistance. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. I'm like, you're going to use necrotic damage on the undead? Yeah, I didn't I mean, that word. Indeed. I mean, if you want to make it hard mode, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> necrotic resistance is what I meant to say. Sorry. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we can it's super early, so we can just wait a little bit to get Tickles and Zale and then we'll head out. Well, I am concerned about us going. He yeah. seems to have an eye out for us. If we go there and he is there, as we suspect, we are but a small handful walking into 
his army. In a way, I almost prefer that, only because then it's far away from my other family. I can see the value in that, but I, I'm just cautious that it might, it would just be very easy for us to be entirely overwhelmed. It's kind of why I was hoping that there might be an opportunity for somebody particularly skilled in getting in and out unseen to just verify even if it's there. That way we can make a, a solid plan of attack. Um, I can scout the area pretty sufficiently without having to actually enter the city. We can get close enough and then send Rosen. That way at least we're close enough if she needs help. And then we can teleport back. Ooh. Kind of like that idea better. Though, Rose, I am concerned for your well being as well. I could go in with her and just disguise myself as. Well, it's not really disguising myself, just turn myself into a bat. How long can you hold that form? I think an hour. Pretty sure an hour. One hour. Confirmed. I, if you can make yourself inconspicuous, then um, I'm a small bat. Well, true. I can put you in my pocket and get to where I need to be to do what I need to do. According to the description, since I apparently have poor eyesight, I am a micro bat, therefore I am of the smaller breed of bats, so I will be okay. <laughs> because a fruit bat, you know, as the common flying fox and the other form of bat is considered way bigger, not to mention obviously my choice would have been a vampire bat, which is still considered a micro bat, therefore oh. tiny. Oh my head. Got Bats are my favorite glasses. animal, man. I should know this shit. <laughs> uh, bat nerd. Any, well, actually, I am. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> but I would be a small bat. I think what's uh, yes, uh, possible. I think what the master of the house is saying is it is not safe for only one or two of you, no matter how inconspicuous you are, to go. You do not know the extents of his forces. You do not know what he has under his employ. That's also true, too. Is this the white robe figure talking? No, this is Yith. Oh. Here's the thing, though, and I look over at my father, if he is there, do I have permission to fight him? You will need to fight him at one point or another. Though, if it presents itself and you have a way out, I would prefer you did it. Do we really want to fight him while he has an army of undead behind him? I'm not saying we should fight him. I'm just kind of going back to a conversation I had previously with my father is all. If you were to fight him, it, it now would more than likely be the time as he would not have his dragons with him. Well, we should probably two look for. of the dragons. We know he's got one more at the very least. He may have more than that. This is true. Hope not. All right. Well, let's just give everyone time to wake up, have some breakfast. We'll go through the tunnel and then we'll make our way there. And it shouldn't be long getting back because we'll just we'll just teleport back. Yura 
hoping in all this that we don't get ambushed by something horrible at the other end waiting for us. Well, we would know if something were waiting at the exits to this, the tunnel. That's at least ordered. Fair. <sighs> In your time hunting him, did you have any leads as to where his phylactery was? Well, at the time that I was originally hunting him, he had not yet become a lich. So he did not have sure. a phylactery. Though... We need to find it, too. We my, even know where to begin looking for it. my father is an intelligent one. He would not be one to hide it in plain sight. So that eliminates my follow-up question of would you happen to know where he might hide it? Nothing. Is there any way to track it down? Weirdly? Well, here's the thing. Is... Is the phylactery technically his blood? No, it is his soul. Oh. I was gonna say I could maybe grab some of his blood. No, but... it, no. Liches store their souls in phylacteries. Did he technically have a soul? He did have a soul. Well, Definitely. artificially created a soul, but yes. All right, well. I mean, that's our best choice right now. We can't, I mean, even if we manage to kill him, he's not truly dead. So we're kind of SOL either way. It would only buy us time, really. That's it. It would just buy us time. Nothing else. Well, I'd rather just keep this as a reconnaissance mission. If he's there and he has this other dragon, again, I'm not looking forward to attempting to fight a lich, a dracolich, in an army of undead, or at least a small contingent. I mean, that's foolish. My concern is that this entire city has become his his playground he can raise all these heroes and he's not just some meddling necromancer who produces low intelligence ghouls these could be anything these... and i'm not trying to discount your concerns i'm just saying everyone seems to have this presumption that things are going to end in a fight. I'm saying discretion is the better part of valor. Well, I'm, I'm we saying see, the same we, thing. If we see that, you know, that there are large numbers of undead, then we should leave and figure out how we deal with them. Absolutely. Do I know anything about this two-headed, like you heard any legends being from the north about nope. this two-headed thing? Oh, God. Cooper. Yeah, Rose already failed a history check last week. Well, two weeks ago. It's really bad, too. I wrote like a two or a one. It was disgusting. On the other hand, if we do if we do manage to find a, a an isolated minion of his especially one like this giant. Um, and we think we might be able to eliminate it from his ranks without it being able to call for reinforcements or something of the sort. It might be wise to do so. Well, simple question there. And she, she turns to, um, to Xavier and she goes, um, should one of your ghouls... Um, 
come to some sort of mishap or misfortune. Do you know about this? I do not. If they are slain, they are slain. Okay. Well, then that's an option. By the way, um, Zale, are you here? Are you like in the, the common room or did Zale go off to sleep? Zale is still in the kitchen. Okay. Um, oh, I should probably just, call her. She's she's waiting for this planning to be finished so she can talk to Ash. Hey, Zale. Oops. Are you done uh, already? Um, sort of-ish. Uh, we're kind of formulating a plan of leaving here soon-ish. Didn't know if you wanted the Cliff Note version or wanted to be part of it, but it sounds like we've got somewhat of a plan going. I trust your direction. Uh, we can just go over it when you come see me. Okay. Sales. I think she's okay with that idea. She gets to kill more things. Yeah, yes, this I excuse me. I must go talk with her. She's in the kitchen. I know. Okay. Okay. It's up and he walk he walks off and the uh, robe figure follows him. Is the rope figure a knoll? Give me a perception roll. Really? To see if it's a knoll? Yep. Oh. Long ass rope. Okay. <laughs> Damn. I too would like to look. Uh, oh, that was 20 on the die, so my perception bonus is. Hold on. You see it. Yeah, I rolled low. I'm not paying attention. All right. There's a robed figure walking Rose, with you. Rose, when, when the uh, robed figure did stand up, you did uh, get a clear view of it, of its like uh, of its uh, snout like uh, snout region. And yes, it is a knoll who is well, that is underneath the robes. Okay, but but it's but they're they're dressed in such a way that. She would she would see that you know unless you were looking carefully you wouldn't know that they were a gnome uh, they were a gnome. correct they were that they were a gnoll yeah so. correct and, and it looks it, it kind of looks like they have this this whole this whole robe thing on for warmth warm so it looks like heavy robes it looks like it yeah it looks like they're wearing a large winter blanket. And it's not cold in the castle, right? Mm, it's Kinda. a bit cold because the undead really don't feel temperature. I mean, well, I mean, you know, but she's also, she's from the north. But I mean, is it colder than normal? Or no, to, to you, to you and Ash, it's pretty much any your your basic winter day. Home sweet home. Anyone who isn't from around here, yeah, they would find it cold. Okay, so all right, so I'm guess I'm, so if she's from Dagger or if this other Noel is from Dagger Tree, then I'm presuming they're like, oh crap, this is too damn cold. All right, yeah, yeah. Th yeah this going is, from desert to winter. Yeah, <laughs> like li like going from that huge change of the sweltering desert, and then going right up to the frigid north. Yeah, it's it's kind of a shock. All right, oh, we love. It's not like Zale, who pretty much didn't seem to care. <laughs> that magic armor, yo. <laughs> All right, she'll, she'll make a note that, you know, there's another knoll in the house. And Damn, no, it's just coming on in. Yes. Uh, hey, your vampires invited themselves into my house. I can invite my people into your house. Yes, uh, <laughs> walks into the kitchen. Is this where you're hiding? I wouldn't use those words exactly. And uh, how would you use those words? 
I'm waiting patiently. In the kitchen. That's where they keep the food. <laughs> Fair this points. Is true. Fair points. So these servants are bringing everyone food in the common room. Yeah, I'm. I'm just not. Um, not prepared yet. You're worried. I am. Can you blame me, honestly, with? everything that they're walking into no i cannot but at the same time i'm happy because of everything they're walking into and not quite the words that i would use but to each their own Th allow me some selfish reason I do understand the selfish reasons. I feel a little um, guilty because I'm indulging in the selfish thoughts myself. You have earned those thoughts throughout. I think we all have all of the all of the time before you met them till now. Everything you have done, you've earned some selfish thoughts. It's been a long time coming, that's for sure. Some would say too long. Now those words are ones I would use. Are they, are they all in there? Uh, as, as, aside from. Aside from Molly and Tickles, who I believe are still sleeping. I mean, I do not blame them. It is only seven in the morning. It was way too early to be awake. Why would anybody ever get up at this hour? Insanity. That is all I have to say. Right. Well, but these are insane times, and given the events from last night, a bit of insanity is deserved as well. I suppose that's fair. Maybe, maybe I'll go retrieve Tickles and, and Molly and I can speak to everyone all at once. Will you be joining us in the common room? I think it best to let them finish their planning first. They're about done. So by the time you wake the, the two heavy sleepers up, you may, uh, you may be wandering in right as they were. And that is what I will do. I'll let this one go with you as well. She, uh, she needs the, uh, runaround of the castle anyway. I'll return to the planning and give my insights. All right, then. I will see you there in a few minutes. He, he nods and wanders on back into the common room. Dale takes a minute to just stand there and delay a little bit longer because it's Dale, it's what she does. And uh, she gives the figure a few quick glances and the, just like when we first met Matriarch Rife, all of the gnolls keep their eyes averted when the Matriarch is around. So this figure is looking down at the floor. Come on, toity toity. Oh my god. It's the rules, man. You saw what happened when we pretty much them. pretty much the only one who dares look uh yet in the eye is uh is or who dares look Zale in the eye is yet. And eventually Zale does start making her way up to the rooms. Uh whoever's room comes first is the one she's gonna be knocking on. Alright. That would be Molly. Molly's room is Molly has strategically like, positioned her room at the stairs. Give the door a few good hard knocks. Um, you know, Mag isn't here, but Molly's usually pretty together in the mornings, I figure. Kind of. All 
I completely forgot my dice tray. Oh. I was I, I went over to like reach for my dice and they weren't there. Where did they go? That's like last Monday where I was like, all right, cool. I need to roll stuff, guys. Oh, I don't even have my shit out. Damn it. <laughs> Professional DMs. Right? <laughs> you know what? Zoom has made DMs it harder don't for need us to be dice. prepared, okay? Zoom is more time consuming. DMs don't need dice. I mean, it's true. Logic. I mean, it's true. We could just make up the numbers and just have a soundboard of dice rolling and you wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> All right. So the, yeah. So, bad so or glad. <laughs> so you you're able. To, it, it takes it takes probably about like five minutes, but you're able to rouse Molly up and let her know to meet down in the common room. Now we'll proceed to Tickles's room. Yeah, I know I'm gonna regret it, but I'll knock on the door. I'll stand right in the doorway and knock on the door. Hold on. She doesn't hear you. I will bang on that door. <laughs> she heard this time and she shoots the door. Does it come through the other side? No. No? Okay. The doors are thick enough to, you know, ensure that there isn't going to be any bullet penetration. Wow, they thought of everything. <laughs> well, solid wood doors, man. I hope that wasn't aimed at the door, Tickles. It was. What do you want? You. Uh, why? You're needed downstairs. Uh, do I shoot someone or what's going on? Well, I believe they're putting together a plan to shoot several people. Okay, so they can just tell me later. No, you're needed now. <sighs> I know lies. it's early and nobody should ever be up at this hour but it is what it is that's that's you're right she's gonna go ahead and get dressed and kind of have a what do you call it a restless bitchy face I guess you can call it <laughs> Resting bitch face. There you go. Resting bitch face is what she has. You know, she's just like, I don't want to talk to anyone. I hate everyone right now. What the hell do you want? I, I, hate, I hate Mondays. Well, it's a Tuesday, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so, yeah, she, like you just see her open the door and you just see her kind of like all dressed and ready. And she's like, okay, let's go. Where the hell's the new guy? Uh, expl explanation will come. Who are you? Explanation will come to us. You don't need to shoot this one. I know you have a thing with shooting people that don't give you their name. But you don't need to shoot this one. She is one of my people. I want a name when we get down. You'll get a name. Good. Respect to Jolov. Huh. Right? <laughs> you can't have my name. Fine. What's your name? I don't know. You are right. <laughs> You're a stranger. Hey, huge sense of stranger give me danger. An honest answer. I'm gonna shoot you. All right, for practicing stranger danger. As Rose has mentioned before, names are powerful. I said it like I'm mocking it. I didn't mean it like that, so I apologize, Rose, but yes. <laughs> Names are powerful. All right. For those of you who are down in the common room, uh, Yith returns to you and takes his seat back down and takes a, a small sip of tea. Zale is hitting the other two. Deep sleeper is up. They will be joining us shortly. Have you decided on your plan of action? I thought 
thought we were going to head over to the necropolis and scout it out. I didn't know if anything had changed in my absence. But I believe having treating this more as a reconnaissance mission to start is a good idea. I mean, if there's like an undead army formulating there and that's just what Rose was able to witness, who knows if there's more, that's the main reason why we're going, not necessarily to, you know, clear them out. It's more of just information gathering, making sure how many's there, what's there, if my grandfather's there or not, uh, if it's maybe just a coincidence, co coincidence that these things are there. It's just not necessarily looking for a big fight or anything like that. It's just more of information so we can be prepared. I mean, it's pretty uncomfortably close to my hometown. So if it is what we hopefully don't think it is, just want to be prepared. Well, whatever your decision or whatever you must do, I wish you the best of luck. I'll be returning to Dagger Tree before midday. I figured you would. Oversee some things. Mm hmm. Well, thank you for all your help from before. We really do appreciate it and all you have done for us. Yeah. I. The way I see it, I owe all of you a life debt. If not for you, I would be much like your grandfather right now. I look at his one arm and still feel like sheepish. I'm like, mm. yeah. You did what you needed to, Ash. Mm. Adder and our Minnesota, to be honest. That's what I thought. I still felt bad, but yeah, no, it that's what I was thinking. It does not hinder me in any way. Ash, look at it this way. At least you didn't miss. That would have been a problem. I remember correctly. I think I nat 20 on that piece of shit. <laughs> I know, it was a hard hit. But clean. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, again, we still appreciate everything you do. So, I mean, we're going to be a while. So I don't expect you to, to hang around or anything like that. But of course, you're more than welcome. If you ever want to come and just Pop in. Maybe. If my schedule allows for it. Well, of course. You, you see, you see, uh, you have to kind of give a nod as Zale and the robed figure and Molly and Tickles wander on in. Morning. Uh-huh. Sorry, it's early. She's not particularly cheery this morning. Well, it's really early. I, to be completely honest, I was actually more worried about you and Rose. The door to her room may need to be repaired, by the way. Is that why I heard gunshots? Yes. Uh, that's just a simple buffering. I'll have one of the ghouls repair the door. We need to put a metal door but up for her room. With that, I am going to retire. I need my sleep. Wait, <laughs> are we up this early? It is a cruel punishment to have any vampire up during the day. You guys wanted to talk to him, and he is nighttime. Your daytime. I mean, I could have talked to him at night. He was busy. Minded staying up. Oh, okay. He was busy. Mm. You woke us up all this early. Xavier excuses himself and leaves the common room. Well, if you guys want to go take a nap, you can go take a nap because we should probably leave soonish. So you, you put nap, together okay. a plan then. <sighs> Wake up, Tickles. We, huh? we did. Um, Long story short, um, as you guys know from yesterday, that Rose witnessed some 
very interesting undead things heading towards a abandoned town that is peculiar and may or may not be a headquarters or base of operations for my grandfather. That's why we're going to go check it out. It's more for us to get information to see what is really going on there than uh, a fight because who knows how big of a undead army is out there or what they have. That's the whole point of this. So we will go through the tunnel to save some time. Well, it's uh, at least four undead giants, three banshees, and whatever else is in that bag of his. Yeah. That's only what we even know about. So uh, it's a three-day journey from there, but good news is we'll just teleport back or something, save some time. Uh, but once we get through the tunnel, there's a three-day journey to this old abandoned town. So it's just information gathering. Mm, yeah. We're just going to recon there and then pop back. Yeah, that's, because that, if that's the hope. That's the hope, because if there is an entire undead army there, even minus my grandfather and a dragon, that's a lot. Uh, Maybe. I get the bad feeling that that's not really going to work out. Yeah, if, if there's anything that I know about all of you, it's you, you'll find yourselves in a lot of trouble very quickly. Well, that's why we. True. That's not entirely untrue of you, you as well, Zale. Are you trying to excuse yourself from that situation? Oh, no, no. I, I certainly dip my hands in some trouble as well, but... And your claws? You get to kill some things and, and, and shoot and, some and, things. And her teeth. And her teeth. Don't forget her teeth. Oh, yes. Teeth? You bite some things, you'll shoot some things. Her stomach, too. Because we have to go through the forest. A couple times, yes, Two, so well I'm hmm. we can kill things in the forest, that's fine. I'm afraid that I won't be killing anything in the forest. Yeah, did you make her a pacifist? Ash, do you think I have that much power? I mean sure. No, but No wait, no, no, no. She did throw you in a wall. Yeah, that's true. Why she, does everybody have to keep reminding him about that? I said that I was, was rude. Somebody woke me up at an hour much like this, and I was not happy about it. I am so sorry we were making you breakfast. That you had to use your mate like a pillow and chuck him against the wall. Uh, yes, well, at the dresser. your your mate didn't have to blow that damned horn in our room. To be fair, like he was next to the door. she is right. It's not like he was next to the door. It doesn't have to be. We have very sensitive ears. You know what? It's in the past, and um, we'll never let you live it down. So anyway, uh, that's the plan. Uh, so if we want to leave, Soon, we can still get a almost an entire day's journey through the forest once we get through that tunnel because it takes us what 10 15 minutes. So, yeah. Well, what I was trying to say, um, about killing things in the forest is, um, that I may, oh, god damn it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not. You're leaving. Yes. I'm not going with you. Well, what? You did I'm tell us yesterday. I've been thinking about this a lot lately. Uh, and I don't just mean the last few days. I mean the last few months, the last year. It's been on my mind a lot. I don't have a lot of time left. And as much as I enjoy spending what I have with all of you, I have a family and I have people that I need to give some of that time to while I still can. Children as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
it's understandable there. Now, I, I mean, I'm not saying that this is goodbye. We, as a group, still have many more fights ahead of us. Um, I mean, that, that that diorama thing that I got from the weird hidden part of that shop. Just... I mean, the, that, we still have that ahead of us. We'll, we'll fight together again. But I, I just can't keep going down this path. I'm making excuses not to go home, and I, for the life of me, I don't know why. So it's time I just stopped. So what stopped you're saying is you're just tired. I'm you need the break. Very, very tired. I understand. Selfishly, I don't want you to go, but I completely and 100% understand why you need to. And like you said, this isn't goodbye. Of course not. It, it's we'll, we'll all be together again, I promise you that. And if your current journey brings you through Dagger Tree, then my home is your home, as always. But for now, I need to go to my home and... I'm not going to leave you empty-handed. I, I did bring a little help to take my place. Is that why you brought this person that wouldn't give me a name as I raise gun? Well, I yes. thought she was going to give us her extra teleportation. That's what I was looking forward to. No, but I am leaving that that helmet of mine with her, so I'm not taking that teleportation away from all of you. But this is heal. She is a, uh, well, not quite a shaman yet. She's still working on it. She's still in training, but she's very skilled, I assure you. It's Yith's apprentice? One of his no, apprentices? No, she's just been training with the other shamans. Okay. I, I assume we can trust her because obviously you wouldn't pick some schmo to come with us. Yes, of course. When when Ashton says that, Rose gets up from her chair and she looks at Zale and she goes, so you would abandon us to leave us with a neophyte. And then she turns and she leaves the room. Just ignore her. She'll be fine. She will be, but I do understand her position. And I, I assure you that Keo is every bit as capable as I myself in many of the situations that we put ourselves in. I mean, so, to be honest, if I had the choice, I wouldn't want any of you guys to be here. Only because I'm putting you in danger with our family business. If the circumstances were different, if I was still, I was still young, and I would be more than happy to stay here and continue pushing myself and risking myself, but there's just too much waiting for me in the desert. Too much relying on me in the desert. The Knolls have been without their leader for too long. Well, if you ever need help, we still have the marbles. Yes, yes, of course. And my door is always open here. I'm yeah, really well, well, sad to see you go, but I understand. I'll reach over and grab the, the hood that Kyo is covering her face with and just kind of yank it back. And there's a, a knoll standing there that's um, not anywhere near as muscular as Zale is. And I mean, she's short for a female knoll, but she's still six foot eight, so you know, kind of tall. Um, <laughs> she's nowhere near my height. Right. My, yes. Whatever I am right now, eleven foot something. Um, and she she's got dark brown fur with uh, darker, almost chocolate covered stripes going just all over her, and very dark brown hair as well. That seems to have almost embers glowing and flicking through it. Uh, catching it in certain light, you can see that it almost looks like there's heat radiating, radiating off of it. 
and she keeps her eyes focused down on the ground not out of shyness or anything which is fairly obvious because she does have a really big grin on her face like a shit-eating kind of I'm gonna get everyone in trouble kind of grin oh so just like you kind of just a little bit oh god she's gonna eat more things you know I hadn't thought about that oh god I have to retrain another null yeah good luck oh damn it she... If, if she causes trouble I'm bringing her back to you well, you can, you can definitely try to bring this one back. You don't have to worry, though. She doesn't eat everything like Zale does. Not everything, just most things. Uh, yes, she she wasn't trained as a hunter like I was, so uh, maybe you'll have better luck she has a bit more sense you can say but you know, I, I believe it's time for you to stop holding your tongue she finally looks up at everyone but still kind of keeping her her gaze shifted off of Zale you're kind of standing side by side and I mean, those of you that were in Dagger Tree probably have seen this behavior with the other gnolls around the matriarch. I think Cal's maybe, the only one. That maybe tickles. Who doesn't? Why doesn't even do I recognize her? Stuff. What was that? Yeah, would Tyrus recognize her? Yeah, that's a um, really good question. That is a really good question. Because he did, he did spend <laughs> quite some time in Dagger Tree. He did. Do I know this troublemaking little gnoll? I think it's highly likely that you do. I don't know. Um. <laughs> There, there was a lot of mishaps with fire in Dagger Tree. Oh, hell no. And she was usually at the center of that. She's a pyromaniac? I love her! Yeah. She, she is I look a, at, she is a circle, a maniac, was it Circle of maniac. Fire Druid? Oh, circle wild of the fire. Wildfire. Yeah. yeah circle uh, of the wildfire. I fire. look at Tickles, look at Keo. Why? She, she gives you, like, the little <laughs> finger wave. What? Did you see? Oh, my God, the actual, like... Disappointment and sadness in his voice. Why? We will become the best of friends. <laughs> and since, since Tira spent so much time in Dagger Tree, he's probably heard the the story about what she is or how she became what she is. Um, and what a wildfire druid is, for those that don't know, is a druid that has basically become one with a wildfire spirit. Uh, the the spirit and them are joined in a ritual and that's where they get all their powers from and that, that's exactly what she is and she kind of looks up at everyone gives tears the finger wave and her smile gets a bit wider and she bows a little bit it's wonderful to finally meet all of you again Again. Hi, I'm Tickles. The Calamity. Yes. I, I kind of gave her a rundown, everyone. Just so she wouldn't be surprised at some of your more colorful traits. Oh, darn. You did mention the fact Tickles shoots first and forgets about the questions, right? That was the first thing I said about Tickles, yes. Good. Wow, I'm very well known. Kyle Bross is just sitting there wondering what his quote-unquote colorful traits might be. So, um... She's quite capable, as I've said. Tiras, you seem to remember her, so I'm sure you can speak to her skills as well. Indeed. I have commanded her to accompany you on this Did quest. Did you command her to not light everything on fire? 
No. No, I didn't. I'm sure it'll be fine, though. Did you tell her about my house rule? I think you're quite capable of filling her in on any finer details that are necessary. Okay. Rule one, don't steal my stuff. Rule two, don't set my stuff on fire. <laughs> she will do the group good, I assure you. And when this quest is over and your grandfather is put to rest and Tyrus, your home is reclaimed, Perhaps then we can all join together again. Welcome to the team. My team is sorry. I am not laughing at. I'm just thinking like how awesome this is gonna be. Um. <laughs> oh, I took a I took a look at her spells, and it was just like, yeah, that's. That's a lot of fire. <laughs> fire, fire, and more fire. And then she He's also has. Uh, she also has. She she has. So the wildfire druids they always have fireball prepared. It's yes. just an innate spell for them. Oh, it's part of oh. their actual class. Mm -hmm. Like they have yep. a. Oh, yep. nice. Um, and Her and dice will get along so well. <laughs> she she also has the the feat that makes it so her fire damage ignores resistance. Nice. Shit, because of future plans you and I just talked about. <laughs> if something were to happen. Yep. Anyway. As long as she doesn't set things on fire that shouldn't. I look at that. Shouldn't Af. be set on fire. You're asking a lot. Do I need to kick her out of the house? It's nicely. No. However. Okay. I look at Molly. Summoning large quantities of water might be needed. Oh god, we have a druid that's very pro-nature and one that's very pro-fire. This oh, is awesome. This is one puts awful. up the forest, the other burns them down. <laughs> it's the natural cycle of things. Oh my. Alright, well... Okay, well, I'm gonna reserve. I just want to point I out that I, I can't, really I don't love judge that people. picture. I don't judge people right away. It's that would just be rude. But I am now wary. That's it. I'm just wary. Uh, it's, it's always very nice good to, meet to be you. wary of new people. Yeah, well, that's true. That's very true. So I'm I'm going to leave a few things with her. The helmet that we picked up from the dragon's horde that allows us to teleport. I'm going to leave that with her. Uh, the group made a good use of that lately, and I think it should stay with all of you. And this uh, wand that I never quite figured out, but it seems to work for me, that shoots fireballs. I'm going to leave, leave that with her. As Friends well. who roll dice, thank you for that raid. So you gave someone who knows fireballs extra fireballs. Get some yeah, love in the chat for oh our wonderful my. raiders. What are friends? Hey, do you like fireball? What about extra fireballs? Mm, fireballs. Mm, oh, that Sven's fireballs. going to end up on fire. I don't have Sven. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He still might end up on fire. <laughs> you know what? This is good. Burn everything down. So you're so, are you leaving right this second? Or I'm, I'm leaving with Yith. Yes. Well, so I know that, we, but not yeah. like this second second? Or are you leaving when we Soon. Leave? We uh, we are needed back in Dagger Tree. Right it's away. 6.30 in the morning? Our daughter refuses to sleep. Oh, does not take after her mother. No, this one yeah. is probably already giving some of my acolytes uh, a run for their money upon eating their stuff. I'm quite proud of her. Oh, again, I have to retrain it all. Okay. Yes, she decides, she has decided, mm. much like her mother, as he just kind of looks over at Zale. 
that everything is food. I swear you are not a knoll, you are a goat. Did, did you just call me a prey animal? I, I called you something yeah. that eats everything in sight. Oh, I kind of had this whole image of us like coming up, sneaking up behind her and going boo, and she just like freezes up, and then that's be funny. <laughs> Those are real, right? I read about those. Those are real, right? Fainting gnolls. <laughs> Fainting gnolls. Can't get that image out of my head now. <laughs> <laughs> From now, you got to add that onto the uh, add that onto the DM's guild thing. That anytime a knoll fails a surprise roll, they uh, they have to stiffen God. and faint. You're one of the surprising goats or fainting goats. That's what they're called, fainting goats. Well, um. I mean, obviously, take your time. We, we, you can still be here while we're gone, or like I said, you can just show up anytime. That's totally fine. Um, do you mind if I, I talk to you just a little bit, Zale, before you go? It's fine with me, yes. Um, how long before all of you head out? Holy crap! Yo, what? What? <laughs> Deck of many things. Oh, oh fuck! No! Oh, I ran no. the house. <laughs> Okay. No! Well, the question is, who's pulling? We uh, Gamer Crackers, so you get to choose which wonderful character here has to draw from a deck of many things. Player. Oh. Player. And, and, and I, 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 I will... No! I, Why tickles? I will like to like to say thank you very much for those bits as that is when it clears through Twitch and everything is a hundred dollar donation to Extra Life. Why Tickles? Why? So thank you very much for those bits. Actually, Gamer this is crackers. completely out of Tickles control, but still, why? Oh no. All of a sudden the deck of many things pops in front of Tickles and she's like, ooh, shiny. Tickles! We yes. haven't even finished our goodbyes yet. Can we at least yeah, wrap that up? First of all, thank thank you for the donation. Yeah, yeah all, thank you very much for the donation. Going well, towards a great cause. So maybe so, these second goodbyes all, are well timed. For me, I love yeah. you. It's it, the the, 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 the deck. First? The deck appears in front of Tickles and Zales. Is like, nope, out of here. <laughs> <laughs> looks, over, uh, looks over, Keo. This is your problem now. Good luck. So yeah, go, luck. Go, go ahead and do your goodbyes because I'm gonna. I I need to remove a couple of the couple of the cards oh thank the gods okay there will be no wish <sighs> yeah there will be no wish no he's removing good cards because there's because there's two things i want to do real quick they're both goodbyes just gonna do it okay zale pulling you off to the side <laughs> oh god if i got the wish i already know what i'm wishing <laughs> oh jesus give me back my shit <laughs> there is no griffin shut up man anyway um I, like I said before, I'm definitely very sad that you no are crackers. Leaving. The wish card is still in there. It's just a running gag because these, uh, yeah, because uh, that's all we pull. Magpie, every time she's pulled from the deck of many things, has uh, has always got the wish card or money. But it's not mags. The fuck. <laughs> she's done. She's done six draws from the deck before. Every time, oh, except wish. every time, save for one is wish. The other time she yeah. got a dragon. And it's never like, and when you roll for how many wishes, it's never just one. She always has at least three. It's like, mm -hmm. what the fuck? All right. Yeah. So uh, go ahead and do the goodbyes. I will set this up. <laughs> I won't remove any uh, cards. All the cards will be in there. Okay. I have to ask, how many cards are in that pile you have? I think it's 22. All of them. I could be wrong. I thought there was 22 cards in the deck of many things, but I'm wrong. Because I was going to roll a die to see how, which one it'll there land There are 22, on, but... but no, 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 no. You're going to, like, we're going to draw a card, not 22 cards or anything like that. No, 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 no. No, Whatever no, he was going to roll to see which like, one. Yeah, 22. Yeah. Yeah, like, just... like, let's say if I roll 14, the 14th card. Okay. That's pretty much what so, I'm doing. Let's go ahead yeah. and do Let's jump back into the game with the goodbyes. Oh, God damn. Okay. Uh... <laughs> So um, I know, you know, you know, Ash, I suddenly feel like I should get out of here real quick. You know what? I had this weird tingly feeling as well. You should go. <laughs> Can I come with you? <laughs> um, but I mean, we've, we've sort of talked, not, not much. 
but we, we kind of have always been on the same page about it. And I mean, I, I completely understand why you want to go as, as much as it saddens me, but it's, it's interesting because you always keep saying that you don't have much time left, but to be completely honest, I think that, fuck, no! Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Crackers, again, thank you for another $100 donation God. in bits. All right, Terrace gets a draw, too. You know, it's good that oh, I have my backup ready. My, my, life. Finger my finger slipped. Bull wrong. Come on, Ash, wrap it up. I gotta go. Oh, God, no, there's, okay. There's, there's yada, 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 yada. I love you, miss you, ciao. <laughs> oh, God, okay. So, uh, and, and so, again, you, you always say that it's always because you don't have much time left, but to be completely honest, I think that's just lower on your list as to why. I mean, you're a leader, you have a family, and you've been away from home so long that it's just nice to go back to the simpler times where you could just enjoy life a little bit and, and be with your family and Sure, maybe. I mean, you never really gave us your exact age, but you've mentioned it before that you're you're older than the average Noel, but I think deep down it's you're just tired of the I don't want to say the adventuring life, but you just want to go back to a simpler time and be with your family for even if it's for a bit. I, I'm going to be honest here with you, Ash. Um all of this, this life of, of traveling, I never wanted it to start with. I was content being a hunter for the clan. That's all I thought I was ever going to be. And when I had to leave, it, the only thing that really kept me going forward was knowing that I wasn't going to be gone for very long. Then I ran into all of you and I was we made your life a little adventure well eventually I, I'm not gonna lie initially you all made my life very complicated and aggravating <laughs> yeah <laughs> kept us on our toes though <laughs> the least I could do but, you know, I, I did grow to care deeply about each one of you. I wouldn't have stuck around as long as I did if I felt any other way. But, as you just said, I, I'm the leader of my people. And of course. They need me. They need me back there, especially with everything that's happening now. Mm -hmm. If somehow if the the court is taken down and their magics are halted then we lose our oasis in the desert i have to be there to make sure that whatever we have remains after all of this is over to be there for my people and i have to be there for my daughter mm -hmm. and for yith i can't keep putting all of this on him I'm understandable. But you will be missed, because like you said, I mean, the biggest thing a vampire, even though I'm half, still very much cherish these values, but to a vampire family is everything. Blood or no. So I care very much about you guys too, so I just want you to be happy, and like you said before, it's not goodbye, even if you don't come back, being like, you know, one of our adventuring buddies it's that's totally fine but that doesn't mean we're not going to stop talking to each other or visiting and we i mean your daughter's growing faster than my kids so we'll have to wait a little bit before we can have like the proper play dates but i would still well, like sure to do that together you know what they might i don't know they've got vampire and orc blood in them so you know they've all got teeth i'm sure it'll be fine yeah that's true yeah actually but um but I also want to say as well that I'm almost in the same shoes as you right now. 
Graham Crackers, thank you for that follow. So, who knows? We'll look after the group for now, but right now, even though we have a lot on our plates, my priority right now is my family. So, we need to figure out what's going on with my grandfather, and then we'll see what happens. Have you given any thought as to what happens after your grandfather is dealt with? What are you going to do, Ash? Honestly, <laughs> not to copy you, but I actually had a similar idea of what you are doing. Maybe take a break a little bit because time has flown by so fast that I'm not spending enough time with my family. I'm not, they're growing up. My boys are growing up right before my eyes and I'm been barely there for it. I don't want to miss it. So we'll see what happens, but I, I might follow suit for a little bit. And don't forget, Hash, that your people need a leader as well. Well, they have my brother technically, but your brother Definitely is not a help. leader. Your brother is a soldier. Well, I mean, I haven't witnessed him because I don't care about that most of the time, but I'm starting to. I think they would be lucky to have you directing them. Well, let's see if they accept me first. I haven't really been around a lot of vampires. Well, if they don't, you'll just have to make them accept. I told him a very likable person. You can be. Now I'll go up and I'll give her a a big hug. While I'm still hugging her, I'll say, uh, I wish you the best of luck and don't be a stranger, okay? I will do my best not to be. And if there's anything that any of you need, then you just reach out to me and I'll see what I can do. We will. Oh, speaking of things, um, I have something for you. Also, please don't be mad at me if I happen to end up, like, stabbing Kyo because she's setting everything on fire that we love. I think I, don't I want to understand, but yeah. try to return her in at least mostly one piece. If she turns in the dice, actions will need to meet you know, take it. Oh, no, if she turns into dice, uh, that's it. Don't don't even bother sending her home. Oh, okay. Okay, good to know. Just want to set boundaries. I just want to make sure it's cool. She's banished from the clan if she turns into dice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I have to just switch out tickles right now. Just with your dice. Well, if you pull void, oh you god. might have to. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, let, let, let's, get, let's get a circle of the wildfire druid. Oh, and Jesus. a fire uh, or uh, yeah and a fire mage together and let's see what we can do uh, oh god uh, uh, not just a fire mage a wild magic oh no not a, no no not, not a wild chaos wild, uh, chaos, chaos, chaos magic. i'm sorry yeah it's not sorry, a fire chaos. mage it's a chaos mage. would you like a giant donkey right above your head and falls upon you absolutely play no. the chaos mage. that happened no. during a dragon fight that was no bad. i think we need more alcohol that you can set on fire no yes <laughs> Why would you do that great. to alcohol? That's Especially just rum. Wasteful. It just happened. I just oh. accidentally burnt your mother's crypt to the ground. Um, so Zale's, Zale's going to reach into her bag and pull oh, out yes. the uh, nine healing salves that she has left. Uh, and all nine of them are in breakable vials. Gives them death. <laughs> Zorro Give them gives them to the ash. ash and they are never seen ever ever again <laughs> do make sure you put these to good use ash please you said they were breakable yes okay so you can throw them at people yeah in your face <laughs> Whoa. well thank you very much i i promise i'll put them to good use <laughs> now putting For them to good, and good no one use. else just, just for clarification, does not mean putting them in a collection. Well, considering how my collection was taken from me... This isn't the start of a new collection. 
Okay, it won't when, be. When people need these, please okay. use them. Okay. It, it will be. I mean, I'm not going to like lie. I shoot them. I, I am starting to somewhat use them a little more because of recent circumstances, so I think I think I can fulfill that promise. And if you ever find yourself in Dagger Tree again, maybe we'll make some time and I'll teach you how to make That would be nice. Thank you. Because I only know the basic. I'm going to um, hang around for a little bit longer and wait and see if Rose cools off a bit and perhaps speak to her before you all leave. But okay. If you leave before I have the chance, then I guess I'll see you again. I will see you later. I'm going to go find my husband. And she's going to cry in a corner. <laughs> all right. So before we do anything else, let's go ahead and take our oh. break for tonight. Uh, and then when we get back, we will force uh, these two unfortunate souls to draw from the deck of many things. I embrace it. <laughs> I know you embrace it. Oh, I'll flip the coin. You just got Thank lucky last time because your soul was in the oblivion and Molly happened to have a wish card. Right. Doesn't mean you're going to be that lucky next time. Just saying. Don't want to put that juju out there, but. <laughs> Here's hey, the like to choose life. It'll be fine. But uh, stick with us, guys. We will be right back. Picturing the dog in fire. This is fine. <laughs>
All righty, we are back. Hi. There's a lot of neat tricks that she's got. I'm, so I'm looking forward to playing with them. Cassie went to Walmart after work today. Okay. She thought she was grabbing just normal Baja Blast. Uh oh. They have sugar free Baja Blast. Yeah, dude. Ooh. Yeah, I do. I I order tacos from Domino's, and I was looking because I always I'm disappointed because I wait tacos I, from Domino's. I'm sorry, Taco Bell. Oh, I was I gonna, gonna say, wait, say, wait, wait, I don't get any of that. Tacos? So, um, so in their drink list, because I, I usually prefer Coke Zero over Pepsi Zero, because like the Pepsi Zero is like too sweet for me. Um, but they had the they have the Baja Blast Zero Sugar mm -hmm. at Taco Bell, and I was like, yes, oh my god, something I can drink that's not just plain, you know, no sugar cola. Give me. <laughs> Give me more flavors that are zero sugar, please. So, right. I'm glad Roger didn't hear any of this conversation. <sighs> so good. Oh, about the potential horror he can lay on the party. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, yeah. Oh, that I can lay on the party? With with the freaking fuzzy pyro that just got introduced oh, to the party. Oh, I know. I, I already have plans. Just, just you know... I have Riptide. I, I will fucking Calgron, you know, wash her away if she gets stupid. I will, that's totally <laughs> fair. With all my hearts. <laughs> I mean, that might be Jesus. a totally normal way of dealing Is with it. Is that another $100 donation? But Are why? Are you effing kidding me? Yeah, Dude. Graham Crackers is another 10,000 bits, two wow. magic items for a good cause. Oh, Dude, geez. I, I, I'm... I, I'm not trying to like make light of the awesome that you're doing for the kids, but please, I'm hoping this is something you can afford. <laughs> exactly. Is, is the fifty dollars donation that somebody gets a magic item, or is it the group gets magic items? Uh, group, maybe. I hope. I don't know. All right. Cool. I'm to just a saying, player. You know. It, I'm, yeah. Gift I, a random magic item to a player. Ah. Okay. Random magic. Uh, okay. Oh. So, uh, Graham Crackers, who would you like the magic items to go to? What is going on with the Twitch overlay? The hell? Uh, the the website still looks fine. The actual app is whatever the app is doing. <laughs> it's all um, broken. I'm so, on the website, and I'm I was going to look at the uh, the panel for the donations to see, but like the video just took up the whole screen, and it can't be. Yeah. We were, we are like the, the panel shows 455, but with those three $100 donations, we are now at $755 raised for Holy balls. extra life. Mm. Hell yeah. For the kids. We, the ki uh, we are under $300 of hitting that $1,000 uh, oh milestone to where everyone will get to choose what color I dye my hair. Oh, wait, we got another donation? Yep. What? Uh, oh, jeebus. So there's a random magic item going to Cal and a random magic item going to Ash. I was going to say, Keo don't Yay! like the raccoon on fire. <laughs> what? So, raccoon, I feel, fear, is like a god. No one can set him on fire. And if he does, he walks through the fire. So we have two, two draws. Rose ran into the raccoon disguised as a rattling. So, tickles. <laughs> tickles. Yeah. Oh, God. What uh, like are you rolling a die here, or how you how are you I'm, doing? I'm it? gonna roll a die. If it hits twenty, I'm gonna allow you to either choose twenty, twenty-one, or twenty-two. All right. You could roll like a well, it's a D four, but you can roll one, a D2, two, and three or would or be you could just, or, twenty, or, twenty-one, twenty-two. Or in roll twenty, you can just do a roll of a D twenty-two. You know what? How about that? It's That'll been a while work. since I touched. Since since we don't actually slash have our, these, it's slash R space don't exist. Uh, it's slash R space one D twenty two. It work. And seventeen. 17. All right. Oh man. I'm praying here. I'm I praying. Am, okay. I, I'm scaroused. Ooh. Ooh. Something happens to Ash noise. before she can do her final goodbye. This is going to suck balls. <laughs> now Dice comes into play. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Everyone gets new characters. <laughs> we'll 
Rose has some resolved issues. Don't kill her yet, please. Where is that one? Night, moon, rogue, ruin, skull, talon. Oh, here it is. The. All right, so you drew a card that has a Medusa-like visage. Oh, on dear it. lord. So, if you want to see what the card looks like. Oh, that is that is not that's not good, sir. Um, you take a minus two penalty on saving throws while cursed this way. Only a only a god or the or the magic of the fates card can end this curse. Right. <laughs> Oh my god, you have a permanent uh, a minus permanent two minus two to th all saving throws. Wow. If you stick next to Caldros, you'll have a plus three. I mean, this is true. Just take I would like to Cal. retire tickles, please. There are worse cards out there. Yeah, Be no, thankful you got that one. No, Groudon, if you try to meta game a meta game that crap, that, that curse is gonna go over the dice. <laughs> I mean, of, of all the bad cards, that's one of the better bad yeah, cards. Yeah, that's one of the better bad ones. I mean, at least you didn't lose a level, right? Oh, I God. mean, if that had hit Rose, uh, your con save would be what? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. I, like, I legit would have, I legit would have to retire her because I'm gonna like, tell you this. she could, she couldn't survive a con save. Like she, no, she, she would get retired she, by a con save. She, she can barely survive them now if that happens. <laughs> like... So, uh, Raven, what card do you want? Four. You want you want the fourth card, okay? Uh oh. Do a little shuffle here. She has an eleven. She's fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Uh oh. He's happy. That's not good. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Okay, so we're all dead. You know what? No, I can't do this one because it will literally destroy the game. Oh, thank really? God. Oh, so uh, that's so unsettling. Now, now I at least want to know what it was. Yeah, I'm curious. What was that? Is it was the it was the void? It was the void. No, it was the void. I was like, it had to have been the void because it's yeah. been like, oh, we're done. It's like we're like we're down a character. We already need a wish to get our shit back. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so you got a you got a better card this time. It won't end the game or anything like that. You got the star card. What increase one of your ability scores by two. The score can exceed twenty, but cannot exceed twenty four. Oh. Oh dear. Nice. I want to redo. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> can I get that card? Oh. I'm just waiting for Tyrus's card to come up on the video so I can see like what he might. No, okay, I can tell you right now, my strength is at twenty and my con yeah, is at so twenty. That's the. I was like, card. I can look it up right now and just cheat. Well, if, well, if if you take it, if you take your, if you take your strength to twenty-two, that's an extra point of damage. And an oh, extra it's point like to you hit. know how I do things. And an extra point to hit. Yeah, that's uh, that's putting yep. strength to twenty-two permanently. All right. Damn it! Now I have to change your card. Now let's do uh, the magic items here. Flame Graham. Oh please! I it's so easy to do. I don't even care. I'm just <laughs> teasing. So strength to twenty-two. Yep. I'm gonna do that right now, just so I don't forget. That's a lot of damage. I'm blameless. <laughs> Right. My uh, my ranger. Why is that? I don't blame that you Garth that. Brooks song coming to mind. Uh, Ash. Yes. Let's see what table. Get, no, Ash. Give me, give me uh, a letter A from A through I. Give me one of them. Oh dear lord. A through <laughs> I. Uh, let's do. I forgot my alphabet. 
I did. I legit was just like, what about R? Nope, that's not it, stupid. <laughs> Start humming the song to yourself. <laughs> hmm, I, <laughs> okay. Okay. Ash. The Imagine yes. Halberd. This will go good for you. Uh -oh. <laughs> In your hands appears a belt. Oh, he's ruling for tables. Oh, is it giant strength? If I can find what belt it is, DM's guide. I really wish I had a a uh, version of you, a digital version of you. You should. You have access to. You have access to a digital version. version. I'll, I'll remind. I'm you sending where, you Tiris's new thing because I just updated Tiris's card, so I just sent it to so, you. So, <laughs> Ash. Yes. When you put this belt on, you can kick your strength up to a 23. As yeah, you have, you have a belt of frost giant strength. Oh my god! Oh my god that's even better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need so, to change uh, mine now too, because I am taking that um, shit off. And that's when you know Tiggles is no longer the damage dealer in the group. Uh, and then, uh, Shadow Fox, give me a letter A through I. Shit! So I'm, I'm gonna since Graham did this and Graham's. Uh, shout it out in chat G for Ash. I'm gonna go with G. G? Alright. Hmm. Let's see, what is that? That's what I said first time. Interesting. Very interesting. What does this do? <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> when the GM doesn't know what the magic <laughs> item is. <laughs> what does this button do? No matter what, I'm sure it's gonna be fun. Okay. Aretha has praised be so, Wally. You get a mace of terror. Uh -oh. oh my god, I love that item. That's what that's what Ichirai had in season one. Yes. This oh ma my god. This mace has three charges. While holding it, you can exp and you while holding it using an action, you expend one charge to release a wave of terror. Each creature of your choice in a thirty foot radius extending from you must make a DC fifteen wisdom saving throw, or be frightened of you for one minute. While frightened in this way, a creature must spend its turn trying to move away as far away as possible from you, and it cannot willingly move to a space within 30 feet of you. It also can't take reactions. For its action, it can only use the dash, a dash action or to try to escape from an effect that prevents it from moving. If it has nowhere it can move, the creature can use a dodge action. At the end of its turn, a creature can repeat the saving throw uh, to end the effect on a success. The mace regains 1d3 charges daily at dawn. Are you just so like getting the, all the OP weapons right now? Because you have that freaking new sword too, Jabus. Ichirai this, have that. And this is one. my mace if I ever go Oathbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> Oath of Conquest. Or, or it's just like, oh, we don't fear you, Paladin. You do now. <laughs> no. Oh, you will. <laughs> I'd like you to make that save then. <laughs> one second, please. <laughs> Hey, hey, Rojan, mm -hmm. you have a gift in your DMs. You should already have it, but apparently you've forgotten you have access. To I that. don't forget anything. Actually, I do. I forget everything. <laughs> Lies, sir. I also updated the cards to send you. Send you. Okay. Thank you. I will update those in a moment. We have a game to get back to. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, again, uh, Graham Crackers, thank you very much for those very generous donations to Extra Life. Thank you for my maze. Now I need to somehow get just Thanks one the more curse. strength to just top off to that even number. Neck of many things. <laughs> right. Actually, no, I think, does the Frost Giant Belt hard cap you at 23? Yes, unless yes, you get, does. unless you get now like the gauntlets of other strength. Yeah. And it's higher than okay. the 23 at hard caps. Mm. Okay. Actually, uh, original 2-5, original second ed rules, you could not have a belt of giant strength past, I think, 18, unless you had the gauntlets of overpower. Yep. All right, Graham Crackers. Thank you again. Thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you for those generous donations. Have a uh, wonderful uh, DM prep session. 
Woot. So, Zale, I believe you were looking for Rose. Yeah, I was going to give Rose uh, a few minutes to herself, and then I was going to go talk to her before they all left, or before I left. Um, and I think Ash was looking for her husband. All right. So where is Rose right now? Uh, Rose is out in the garden hanging with one of the shadow hounds. Okay. And because uh, they're cute and fuzzy and lovable. So while you're out there, you do run into Turok, who's out there with the hounds as well. And you could tell from a cut, like a bit of like hay in his hair that he slept out in the barn last night. <laughs> do you not prefer beds? Oh, I uh, made Asha mad last night. Oh, do tell. Uh, she says she had a griffin and that I trained it, but I don't remember anything of any sort of griffin. But she got mad because I didn't believe her. Is she going through one of her phases where she believes her storybooks again? I, I, I don't know. She, this wasn't like, you know, she thought a ship was real or something. No, there was, there was actual, actual conviction in her voice that she honestly believed that she had a griffin and then I trained it but you think being who I am I would remember that um we've been traveling for the better part of two years I've never seen her with a griffin she's talked about trying to get one but I mean you know how does one just go about and get a griffin Right? Normally, uh, the mothers are very protective of their clutch. You don't just walk up and, oh, found a griffin egg in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. Perhaps it's some sort of fever dream or something. I think she, uh, I think the stress may be getting to her a little bit. Hmm. But, uh, and he kind of looks up and he sees like both Zale and uh, Ash walking out and he just like puts his hands like, I won't say any more th- anything else about it. I don't really want to sleep in the, uh, the barns again with the nightmares. Why not? They're lovely. They're territorial. Hmm. We just have to be nice. And show them, you know, who's boss. Your big, gritting, bulky orc thing. They're giant horses that are on fire. Well, I mean, not all of them are on fire. It's just the hooves and the mane and the eyes. Sometimes out their nostrils. You see where I'm getting at. I I mean... Have you tried giving them apples? They do love them. Then he just kind of like stares at you as both uh, Zale and Ash come up. No, really, this is really weird. It just came out of nowhere. I have this like brand new belt. It's really pretty though. Yeah, I know. I was standing right here. That's, that's... Yeah. I mean, honestly, that's part of the reason why I'm leaving because that stuff just keeps happening. I, yeah, but it's not trying to kill me. And I, yeah. I mean, I, it's very stylish, so I don't know. I mean, I, we'll see what happens, I guess. I feel like shit. <laughs> Speaking of, how tall is Zale today? Oh, no. oh that's right. Zale and Ash need to flip that coin to see oh, if they dude. if they grew or shrunk a foot. Meanwhile, back in another room, Kalros is like, where the fuck did this come from? <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's just like he, he's just like eating food and all of a sudden there's a clunk on the table and there's just now uh, a mace of, in his oatmeal. Shadow Vox, if you if you've never seen the, the pitch it the picture for the Mace of Terror, look it up. It's it's Oh I shall it has it, it has it has it has such great art for the Mace of Terror. It's just ah! a... ah. <laughs> She lost a foot. <laughs> 
question. Uh huh. When you gain or lose a foot, is it on top of what you were already, or do you shrink back down to your normal no, height? Whatever and then you it's... were, whatever you were the previous night, just adds or subtracts from that. Uh, I rolled okay. a two, but I don't remember which one that is. Okay, I rolled a heads, so I am now seven foot nine. And say, are we going to end up with a gnome dampier? I'm, I'm <laughs> growing. I mean, it could be worse. I could be shrinking, but I'm seven so nine. I'm a right. good foot and a half taller than my hubby right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, you uh, kind of got bigger from last night. Okay, we need to have a discussion about this. What is going on with you? I mean, I, I don't mind it. As, as as Rose uh, as Rose as Rose says that from like under her covered hood. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. Hashtag blame Bimmy. Did I not tell you specifically not to go to that insane gnome's shop? You know what the worst part is? This I didn't do anything. This I is the result of someone else doing something. I told you where to go to get reliable magic items. You chose to go to Bimmy's. I Not, you didn't tell nothing. me, you told Zale. This is true. And then Zale, Zale and though. then and then Zale decides to go to Bimmy's after yeah. knowing what's happened to her the last two times she went to Bimmy's. <clears throat> well could be worse. I could be shorter I don't like being this tall no, you seem quite statuesque I don't find it distasteful I'm just not used to having this level of view especially when I have to look down at everybody now this is weird Dale You'll I know how you feel You'll yeah be to it. Dale are you taller now or did you shrink <laughs> It, it, is the two on the D2 grow or shrink? So one is tails and the squid is heads. The squid is heads. Okay. I rolled heads then. So you, you grew. grew a foot. It grew, okay. So I'm officially a large creature now because I'm two or 12 foot one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you, we both rolled heads last time, didn't we? Yep. Now I rolled heads. Jesus. And, you, and you wanted to leave now? <laughs> We need a large creature with us. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, someone decided to shrink. Yeah. Um, despite all the weird things happening between an item just popping out of nowhere and me spontaneously growing, uh, Tarak, can I talk to you, please, in private? Uh, okay. I don't have to sleep out in the barn again, do I? No, you don't have to sleep out in the barn again. Fro snickers when he says that. <laughs> Would you sleep in the barn? Made her mad. Why'd you do that? Uh, it, it, hold on. <laughs> I have to roll. He's dumb. Oh. <laughs> now she told me about, every time. She like, told me about a griffin that she owned and how it was killed upon a scream by that screaming thing that we fought i don't remember any griffin she yeah, there wasn't, she there said wasn't that i trained it but it wasn't a griffin i don't understand you're all against me see you all are just heartless what what does this have to do with what does this have to do with hearts you know what if you if we want to continue the whole you not sleeping in the barn again we should probably walk away right now okay wait so 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 we were very much in danger during that fight, and there was a new griffin. Ignoring all of you, you are heartless right now. <laughs> um, now Asher, walk you okay? away. Okay. I don't. I... Is Tickles out there? We're in the garden. I'm only asking because. Oh. Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're outside. I thought so, we were still in the room. My bad. So uh... I don't understand. Do you know? If you think I would purposely be heartless to you, then... Have a griffin. And just keep walking. Trying not to cry. Turok follows alongside of you. 
just super weird because I'm way taller now. The real question is, does Turok think every time he makes you mad, you grow? I'm slowly turning it. I'm slowly turning into a Hulk. Oh no! Uh, Don't roll for that. Don't roll for that. Oh, uh, he's rolling for it. I can see it on his face. Oh, he's no. Rolling for it. For those, for those of you who are new to this game, Turok has an intelligence of six. Oh, yeah, no. he is right. not a smart boy. Yeah, I didn't roll Ash, it. Ash didn't marry him for his brains. Apparently not his height either. He has a high wisdom. She, He's got a high she wisdom. She married him for his heart. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I, after, did. I, I mean, he, after you stick the fork in the socket the third time, you know, you pretty much, you know, no, hey, maybe I shouldn't stick the fork in the socket yeah. anymore. <laughs> He's got a decent wisdom. Hurts. He's got a decent wisdom, but. He's got a six intelligence. So, uh, yeah. what, <clears throat> what, what did you need to talk in private about? Well, I just wanted to let you know about our upcoming plan. We are leaving to investigate a town. It's technically almost a week's walk from here, but we have a way to have that time uh, to investigate what may be potentially happening with my grandfather over there, if that's what we think is going on. But this isn't my weird way of saying goodbye or anything like that. I just wanted to let you know and I wanted to apologize for being angry because I don't want to leave Matt. Uh, I didn't think you were that mad. Well, I wanted my husband to support me and comfort me and you just didn't believe me. And regardless if you believe me or not, I just wanted some comfort going through a hard time and you, you just didn't provide it. And that's what upsets me. But I'm just going to ignore it for now. And I just wanted to say that I love you. I, even through all that, I still very much love you and just don't want to be mad at you. Well, I don't want you mad at me either. Well, I'm not. So we're I, good. I think it, I should probably tell you that uh, I'll be leaving too. Are you going back home? No, Lias and I uh, have been given a uh, sort of mission, I guess you can say. If you fuck. What are you guys doing? Hunting. For? Stragglers. Making sure uh, the, the forest and everything isn't really flooded with any more of those walking cow skeletons. Yeah, no, that's a really good idea. He's also made me promise not to throw it. I'm kind of sad about that, but... Lias or my father? Your father said n not to throw Lias anymore. Oh. No, well, next time. Something about it not being very lordly to fly through the air like that. I mean... <clears throat> yeah, I guess, but still funny. You'll just have to show me next time. I mean, if he didn't want to be thrown, he shouldn't be so aerodynamic. He's tall and lanky. And that armor he wears allows like the wind just to flow right off of him. Well, I mean, vampires have to move quickly, and I mean, like you said, aerodynamic. It's perfect. But, um, so you're leaving the kids with my father while you do this? Uh, Gaston. Just leave them in there, hoping they'll learn how to read. Who knows? They might. They might be too young, but I may, you know what? I don't know. But. Or Gaston reads to them, one or the other. That's that would be nice. Yeah. Um. 
I was thinking too, when this is all over <clears throat> with my grandfather, not necessarily this mission, just my grandfather. Um, I was thinking of maybe coming back for a while. You sure about that? Well, I, I miss you. I miss the kids. It's been a really long time since I've just been home with you guys. And it's just kind of putting a toll on me. It's breaking my heart, knowing that I've been away this long when I didn't even realize how much time has passed since we all kind of just hung out as a family. So I'm still thinking about it, but I think it would be a good thing. But I, I want to finish this first, at least. I got gotcha. you. Anytime you want to hang up the sword and spend time at home, I'm always happy to have you. It would be nice to be back, but... Like I said, just putting it out there for right now, but um, this has become very personal, attacking my family and what's not, and having it out for me and my father, so I want to finish this first. That way we're all safe. At least that. Well, if you gotta go, be safe. Don't let Zale eat anything. Well, anything she normally wouldn't eat. Um, stay out of the fire. Yeah. Look, I'm just trying to give advice. No, I I know. Weirdly <laughs> enough, um, weirdly enough, Zale's not coming with us for pretty much the similar reason I just gave you of why I'm thinking of of stopping for a bit. Um, you know, she's going home. She has a family. She's, you know, her clan's leader. So she's got a lot to do. So we're bringing in one of her shamans in training who apparently really likes fire. So a little nervous about that, but, um, she's not like the minotaur, yeah. is she? I don't know. That minotaur I was really a little too quick on the draw with the fireballs. Yeah. I honestly cannot say yet. I mean, we literally just met her. Haven't seen her in action yet, but she hasn't lit anything on fire either. So. So far, so good. So far. But what? you be safe too, okay? Oh, you know me. I know, that's why I'm saying be safe. Look, if we run into any bearers, I'll just punch them. I don't know. We just do what you I normally do. All right. Well, I love you. And I will try to lean over and do like a really awkward hug because I can't, I'm I'm like half crouching to be like at his level because it's weird bending over to hug him. <laughs> I know very that, awkward. I know that feel way too much. Oh, sorry. Just, mm. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Take care and Ca I'll Cassie, try to contact you more. Cassie is only five foot three. And I'm six foot seven. See, that's He's it. Still weirds me is out. Awkward. Yep, that's that still trips me out because my sister's name is Cassie and she's five foot nothing. <laughs> so is I her still husband. Find it awkward how Rogan has to go along with these RP love sessions. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we just fade to black when things get nasty. Yeah, thank you for that. You're welcome. Trust me. It, <laughs> Never mind, I was gonna leave it at that. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so so she'll great. she'll spend she'll go ahead and walk inside with Turok and go upstairs with the kids and kind of hang out with them until everyone else is ready to go, basically. All right. And while this is going on, uh Rose and Zale are having a conversation. Well, I mean that part of it's entirely up to Rose, but Zale is standing there looking at her. You, um, you're willing to, to talk? What is there to say? Well, I feel that, um, perhaps what was said inside there wasn't, um, the whole picture. You know I'm not abandoning all of you, right? Let's see. 
you're heading back to Dagger Tree with your husband, and you're leaving some. I don't know what is that knoll that's covered up in the robes with us in your stead. It is probably nowhere near as useful as at least yet. Well, nobody's as useful as he is. I'm not as useful as he is. I don't ever let him know that I said that. But I wouldn't have brought her here if I didn't think she could get the job done. I chose her over even the strongest of our warband leaders. She'll do the job. Not inspiring you with confidence. If she doesn't do the job, well, it's her life on the line, isn't it? I think that's a good motivator for anyone. Is this just your homesick? It's it's not just that, Rose. I mean, there, there are a lot of things at play here, but there's one thing specifically that I, I feel you may understand with your significant lifespan. I, I've heard the comments over the years that you've made about people such as myself that have such short lifespans comparatively, and it's true, we do. My people, you know, they're lucky if they can see 60 seasons. Well, I'm, I'm well past that halfway point, and I still have a family to raise and people to lead. I haven't even begun to do that yet, and I'm running out of time. I honestly should have left a long time ago, but I care deeply about each one of you, you included, Rose, and I could not bring myself to leave your side, not yet. But now the people that, that I travel with, you, Ash, Tickles, even, Kaldros, Tyrus, Molly, you are all far stronger than I could ever be at that point in my life. And I'm struggling to keep up with you. I'm changing myself to keep pace with you. And I realized in my conversation with Yith last night that each one of you is more than capable of handling yourself in whatever situation you find yourself in. You don't need me at your side. I want to be at your side, but you don't need me at your side. My family does. She, she's, she's sitting on the ground and she's basically, she's, she's hugging the shadow hounds, um, you know, neck and, you know, scratching him behind the ear, which sounds cute, but it's honestly disturbing because, uh, shadow hounds are like just one of the scariest things you'll ever see. The shadow yeah. mastiffs? The shadow mastiffs. They're <laughs> normally terrifying, but. Rose thinks they're adorable. She loves them to pieces. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. They are adorable animals. They're good doggos. Um, she she looks up at Zale and she goes, "I understand your hindrance with time. I guess I." I'm not used to dealing or becoming emotionally attached to people who aren't going to at least be in my life for more than a few decades or so. To be honest, I doubt most of you will be alive within the next 60, 70 years aside from Ashton and her husband and her children. 
I have always had my family be long in life. The only thing they need to worry about is excessive exposure to the sun. It has dangerous consequences for those who raised me. Unless they're an elder, like my parent, like my parents. But I have lost I've lost cousins and a brother or two to the sun sickness. They've died before their time and it's something that we don't expect because quite honestly living a millennia or two is not uncommon for my kind if we're careful. But again, normally we don't associate ourselves with those that don't live as long as we do. We see them as basically as you see those that don't have the same prowess as hunting as prey, monks, those to be taken advantage of because their lifespans are so short, we'll forget that they even existed before anyone else. My mindset to that has been changed being with all of you, and it's uncomfortable for me. I, I understand that position, Rose. A, a lot of changes in, in how I view the world have come from this group, and a lot of them have been quite uncomfortable. This empathy I find myself having for others now is strange and often unwelcome, but it's it's a part of me now as much as all of you are, and it's not a part I would readily give up. I guess I can't begrudge you if it's to take care of your family and your people. As I said inside, this is this is not a goodbye. It is simply a I'll see you later. Rose, I, I sincerely hope that you will be around for a long, long time. You will you will be there not just in my life, but in the life of my children and their children, and perhaps even their children. You are as much a family to me as they are, Rose. I hope you understand that. Uh, I do, I just... don't like losing people under these type of circumstances. It's unfamiliar to me. It's not like you're working in different territory and we'll see each other in the black market or in one of the back alleys someday, but Suppose family that's... is very important to my clan. I, I, I understand that, and I suppose that is one advantage of having a short life. We have to learn to accept loss very quickly. But again, this is not loss. We will see each other again. If not on this plane, then maybe if we're lucky in the next life. She, when you say that, she, she holds up her hand to the light and she just, she twists her hand in the light, and she goes, I'm not sure in the afterlife we'll end up on the same plane. Oh, I, I very much doubt we will, but if there's anything that I know about you, Rose, you are very stubborn. Sometimes that means you will do whatever you need to to get your way. We've all seen it several times at this point. I'm a creature of habit. It's a good habit to have. She will stand up and she 
like she looks up at Zale and she goes, you know, you are tall, but this is sickness of yours. This is unusually distressful. Yeah, I'll admit this one's um, a little bit strange. Perhaps I will have some of my people look into it while I'm at home. Now, Rojin, <clears throat> I don't think I... If, correct me if I'm wrong, I, I could have made a save and failed. My memory is kind of garbage, especially the last three or so weeks. Um, have I, I don't remember, have I tried to see if what's happening to um, Zale and Ashton are, is fey magic in nature? I think you failed that. Okay, then never mind then. Yeah, I, I, think, I, I think it was I, a failure. I, I couldn't remember. Um, well, I hope you find the cure for it. It's, I mean, it's, I mean, hell, if there's no end to whatever is causing this, I mean, worst case, you can become a titan. The worst, worst case, you can become a flea. Yeah, that does not sound appealing. Fleas are, are nothing to laugh at. But, um, at the very least, maybe we can find a way to slow it down. If I learn anything, I will reach out. I know some people, when things calm down, we can... I can have a discussion and see if anyone I know has seen this ailment before. I know some people who've seen some unusual things when it comes to the world when it comes to ailments this might be something someone I know is familiar with or at least can point me to someone who might know what these symptoms are from well between the two of us I'm sure we can find some sort of answer we usually do hmm. she she will <clears throat> she's like I, I'm not good at this this goodbye thing but um, I will give you a gift of sorts I've already made a copy and have committed it to memory it serves no purpose for me per se outside of having someone who can use it for me but um, here and she hands you um, a alchemical recipe for how to make paralytic poison from those amen. Ah, nice. That is um, quite generous of you. Seeing how I don't know when the, I'll next be in the desert, I figure at least this might be more use to you than to me currently, as long as you can restrain yourself from eating them. I'll do what I can. And uh, as I mentioned to Ash a few moments ago, if you ever do find yourself in or near Dagger Tree again, please stop by my help doesn't cease just because I'm not here anymore I will do whatever I can to aid any of you in any of your quests she will um it's like she has Rose seen like you know like a typical like Nolish you know farewell in the time she spent in Dagger Tree or how long did you spend in Dagger Tree? Um she spent the initial that like the 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 initial time when we met Zale and then the the second time we were there for like a week and a half. I mean, she pretty Pro much probably she, seen... she, she pretty much cases the place and looks for things that she can nick. But you know, that's fair. 
I, I imagine you probably would have seen a few greetings and goodbyes in that time. Um, I mean, gnolls aren't really much for that kind of stuff, so I think a goodbye for them probably amounts to maybe like a clasping of each other's forearms or something and then parting ways. Minus the sex of paid. Minus the sex of paid. That's I just between hug your the hello and goodbye. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't we try to not speak of those. Jack got uh sleepy time tea for that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally sleepy time tea for those. Yeah. Those. Uh, so yeah, so Rose will, you know, she'll do her best, you know, you know, knowledge, a goodbye or farewell. Um, and she tells you, um, you know, in my clan, being, being of aid for someone is a very big thing. I do not take those words lightly. Neither do I. And I hope that I can be of aid to you and to everyone else again in the future. It's it's been pleasant traveling with you, Rose. Until next time. <laughs> she she laughs. She's like pleasant. I don't think that's a word anyone's ever described with with being in my company for extended amounts of time. Well, perhaps that's because you. Don't let anyone in, Rose. You should work on that. And they will turn on her heels and start walking inside. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In this time frame, did anybody else want to do anything? Oh. I just hug Zale's leg and <clears throat> say goodbye. I miss you. <laughs> Like Zale looks down, he's been walking around with the tickles on his leg the whole time, or she's been walking around. <laughs> That's what she's been Where'd doing you the come whole time. From? She's, just, she's yeah. just been hugging your leg. I'll miss you. Oh my. It's not goodbye, Tickles. Um, yes, but it perhaps is. maybe if you come to my neck of the woods again, meet me outside of Decker Tree. Why? Because you've caused trouble every time you've been there. We haven't only once. Yeah, you've only really been there once. Yeah, and? Yeah, that's every time. I'll bring the kids. I saw your kids at the ball. They were lovely kids, but they take after you. They behave when I tell them to behave. Except the twins. Although perhaps maybe when they're older and when my daughter is older, we could get them all together. They seem to have fun at the ball. Yes. They had a good time. They broke a few things, but it's to be expected. Of course. I'm gonna miss you so much. <laughs> You'll be fine, Tickles. Are you You'll sure? be fine. I'm I'm positive. You've made it this far. With everything that's come your way, insurmountable odds, several explosions, um, you've come this far and you're still in one piece. Okay. We'll be fine. She just kind of walks away. Bye, have a good one. You as well. Okay. So dramatic so... crying, and then she's like, all right, bye. <laughs> Calvos will um, try to say a, uh, a goodbye to Zale as well. Um, just short to the point and, you know, say that he'll miss you. I think there's going to be very few words from Zale to Caldross, but there's going to be a very, very big hug. <laughs> It'll be returned. <laughs> Although, please, please don't, don't squash my armor. Your armor's fine. Okay, good. <laughs> you are like 12 feet tall now. <laughs> Just saying. Um... And then I'll uh, 
Talvas will try, uh, go up to his room and uh, try to commune with the Raven Queen because he's a little nervous about what's coming up. Okay. See if he might be able to divine some information on what's in store or how to maybe best handle this lich and his Draco lich and his undead army. You don't really get anything back from her. And then a mace falls from the sky. <laughs> Another <laughs> mace. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright. Well, you put it out there. You're uh, muted, Raven. There we are. This entire time, Pierce has been keeping an eye on Keo. Not hard, because <laughs> she's following you everywhere. It's like when yeah. you, you bring a friend to a party and you're the only person yep. that they know and they just kind of follow you around everywhere. That's what she's doing to Tiris. Well, when I see Zale walking back, Zale, you will be missed. Thank you. And if your replacement lights anyone on fire, I'm mailing back her back to you in a box. <laughs> well, I'd li I'd like to say that's a bit of an overreaction, but honestly, I I wanted to do the same thing to Dice, so. A bit of a hip, I look at Keo. You heard me. And, and she <laughs> just gives you a big grin. I love her so much. I think she's fond of you, Tears. If my scales start going gray, it's going to be because of you. She takes a few steps closer to you and like leans in like she's starting to inspect your scales. Well, you're quick, friends. Uh, I better be off. We'll try to not... Oh, no. Assume that you're going to lose the Oasis. That's kind of what I'm preparing for, yes. I'd like to say it's not going to happen, but let's be honest, the options aren't amazing. No, no, they aren't. But I'm sure we'll have something in place by the time that event comes. We can hope. And if you need our help, I mean, just let us know and We'll do what we can. And the same to you, of course. I mean, well, you spent a fair bit of time in Dagger Tree. It's as much your home as it is mine. Uh, now, do... Do try not to get her killed. We would like her back. Taking a real long time to answer, Tiris. You do <laughs> <little> realize <laughs> you're leaving her with tickles. I I understand that. Um, you realize the mortality rate of things that threaten tickles. I I understand. I've given I it a, a little bit of thought. But um, I trust you to make the right decisions. When it comes to both her and Tickles. I look at Keo, hear that? Right decisions. She kind of leans back from inspecting your, your scales, like cocks an eyebrow at you. You know what you did. <laughs> I know what you did last summer. 
I think you'll get along just fine. I think we're going to call it here for tonight, guys. I'm sorry. It's a little early, but the light is like filling my eyes right now. I've been dealing with a migraine for like the past three days. And the, uh, the lights that I've got in my room to be able to stream are not doing it any favors right now. Dark thirst doesn't do anything. You're muted. Ignore that. That was on accident. I was just <laughs> clicking around. <laughs> So I think we're going to call it uh, here for tonight, guys. Um, thank you so much for... Uh... The Radiant consumption isn't going to do anything either. <laughs> uh, thank you for tuning in for uh, episode 102. Uh, we, sh we will be back next week on... Whoever's rolling, stop, please. <laughs> we will be back starting on Monday next week with the continuation of our Mass Effect game that uh, Zoro DMs for us. And then uh, that will be starting at 7.30 Pacific time. And then on Tuesday, we'll be back here with episode 103 of Destiny Forge, starting at 7.30 Pacific time. Uh, there are any episodes that you missed, we do have it on YouTube. We do have a YouTube channel to where you can catch uh, the past broadcasts that we've done uh, all of the Mass Effect ones are on there. S same goes for our previous uh, Sonata one-shot that HP Fox ran for us and the um, the Dragon Age campaign that we ran and s episode 60 forward for uh, season two of Destiny Forge. But thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. We will see you on Monday. Until then, have a good one. <laughs>